that was the so they do like oh yeah we're developing Fantastic Four this and then like they do their E three one more thing and rehearsal he walks mm-hmm. out stage and that's just crazy. What are your thoughts about that? What are your thoughts? I don't know where, yeah. where to start. It's it's so Blade. Here's my history with Blade. We <laughs> did a retrospective. Go Check back and listen to that of the Blade trilogy. I don't really care much for those movies. I'll probably never rewatch them. I don't really like them. But uh, I love Blade from the animated. Uh, Spider-Man show so mm-hmm. go check out that we did a retro on all of that as well uh, and uh, he's really fun in the Ultimate Alliance games he's coming to Ultimate Alliance uh, in September yeah. so I'm pretty hyped on the character and I'm really into that but also Mahersha Ali I mean one he's already been in something Marvel he's been in Luke Cage as as a villain and he was fantastic in that show yeah. so it's check interesting from Netflix that pers- ratings yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we have we have gotten fucking all of the bases covered <laughs> yeah. in this one and if you want to hear what we think <laughs> about like the last four years of geek stuff we got it covered and, even and then- apparently like in relation to this Blade announcement, we just have every single base. Yeah, yeah, it's kind yeah. of interesting. We, we did the retro <laughs> too early, damn it. But, you know, yeah. we'll re-release uh, it when it comes I don't, out. I don't want to re-watch them, so <laughs> just go back. Um, yeah, I, I I think one. it's interesting that I, I don't think, you know, Feige was necessarily like, trying to stay away from using actors from the TV show, but it's cool that, okay, maybe these people can be recast and reused. Yeah. It gives me maybe some faith that they'll bring in some of the people like, uh, you know, now that Daredevil and all that is canceled, maybe they could bring those guys in to a bigger role. I don't know how much they'll do of that because I think, you know, his character in Luke Cage was a smaller character just for a few episodes mm-hmm. before he, uh, you know, spoiler, isn't really around anymore. Yeah. Um, it's been off for three but years. I don't know. I Like, whatever that is, we'll find out in the future, I guess. But I think that's awesome. Like, that is mm-hmm. perfect casting. Yeah. He, like... I can just picture him with the little fucking glasses on and everything. <laughs> he is going to be so good. And after watching uh, Green Book, uh, which came out last year, was yeah, it? Last yeah, year, one yeah. of the Oscar films from last mm-hmm. year. He is fantastic in that movie yeah. as well. So I am just in love with him. Mm-hmm. And to have him behind Blade like just gives me so much faith that this is going to be amazing. <sighs> and it's I love it because it's like that's going to dip more into some really fucking weird stuff oh, for the yeah. MCU, right? Like, yes, Phase Doctor Strange is really and whatnot weird, is weird, but this is like vampires and monsters. Like, this yeah. is changing the whole landscape, potentially. I'm I'm beyond excited. That's exactly, because I said that to Emily that, and I want to talk about that too, that I honestly never thought we'd get a Blade MCU movie. I thought that was TV show for sure. I thought that was yeah, Hulu. Or that's when, a good point, yeah. When Netflix was going, I thought, oh, for sure, we're going to get a Blade show one day. I just thought one... The character, he is a bigger character, but I just felt in the echelon, especially they just got all these Fox characters, they would be, ah, we don't need to use Blade. And even just the world of, I was like, they're going to do a movie in the MCU about vampires. Like, this is crazy. Yeah. I would not, he, this Blade movie pick reminds me of when we found Morbius was going to be all Alliance. We were yeah. like, that's so weird, but it's awesome. Mm-hmm. The same thing with this, like, I would have never predict it and Mahershala Lee just found it just sounds like a fan cast that everyone would be like oh that'd be great but it's never gonna happen yeah I could definitely see us like if we ever did have <laughs> yeah. him have Blade as one of the characters in our fan casts he would be number one pick it's just one of those like just perfect casting we're like this is perfect but you know it's too perfect to happen he's already done Marvel and even then he's won two Academy Awards which maybe that's why he's like I'm just gonna go make some money now like you yeah. look at uh, Brie Larson I've said this always Foggy he likes his Oscar winners because I think he just wants good actors leading his franchise right and that guy's proven. So it's just like, we're going to talk about this whole entire phase. But I, if you would have asked me in the morning, if, or maybe at some time in the stream, like, hey, if they make a Blade MCU movie, would that be one of your most anticipated movies? I'd be like, oh, I'd be really excited. But I don't know about <laughs> now. It's like top three. I'm like, I can't wait to see Blade in the MCU. Yeah. Mahershala Lee, that's nuts. Yeah. That's crazy. And that's, when, it's, <laughs> oh that's man, it's nuts. super weird. So he's obviously, it's going to be like a solo movie. Do you, like, what kind of characters from the comic books do you think would be? Like maybe someone would be in that movie that would introduce the character because I don't know. Like my my knowledge on the blade, the character on the lore wise is pretty limited. Um, the weird thing is, I guess I just for years have taken Blade of the MCU so much, it's mind boggling right now trying to think of anybody. If I'm trying to think MCU, I would have thought Doctor Strange just because he's dealing with weird stuff. But because of that movie, which we'll talk about, I don't think so. Yeah, he's had stuff with Spidey, but I don't think that's it. But <laughs> oh God, imagine, Tom Holland! Imagine if that's that per- would be something. Imagine if that's the person hunting down Spidey in Bla- in Spider Man Three is. Oh, mm-hmm. but, but you know what? Sometimes he's in New York. I don't know because because th- it's weird. Because I would have said maybe. It, Honestly, what I would have said is Spider-Man 3 might be setting up Morbius and that's how you bring him Blade. But Jared Leto is doing a Morbius movie, so that's mm-hmm. not it. Um, this also, uh, I'm still thinking about this. I'm just saying characters. This also gives me faith that we may actually see a Moon Knight movie one day. Because yeah. 
it's crazy, but I'm trying to think. I I, no, I, I was thinking about that <laughs> that Ultimate Alliance pack, right? It's like Punisher, okay, he had the TV show. Yeah. Uh, you know, Blade is getting this. Morbius gets a fucking movie. Like, where's Boon Knight? Oh, yeah, come coming, on, Moon Knight. Where are you? I, I don't think there's any characters in the MCU yet that could introduce Blade. And mm-hmm. I don't even know... Because I'm in Endgame, we had everybody come over, but I feel like Blade is going to be the way Punisher was for the Netflix shows that he might just be off mm-hmm. on his own. But who knows? Because I feel like you get an actor like that to. It's, so so could we have like a Blade in the Avengers movie one day? Like that's weird. That's mm-hmm. weird. To think like see that that's the thing. I can't picture that. No. But at the same time, I think people would have said the same thing about Guardians R- of the Galaxy, yeah, Rocket right? Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And. And fuck, Rocket Raccoon's an awesome character. He's, he's a fantastic character. So it's it's a different realm. Like, they're going all they're all over the place. Now, what do you think this about... crazy. Like, how, how much do you think Ke- Feige cares about, like, the casting of, like, the Marvel Netflix shows and this? Like, I think we've had that before. Isn't there one guy who is in... No, there's a girl. Um, the girl that plays... Uh, uh, oh, God. Uh, Mariah Stokes. She's in Civil War as a different character. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the only one that I know of. Yeah, so, so they probably don't care. Now, I, I do you think, think it's that, changed for... Because he's like a bigger character than she was yeah. in, in Civil War, obviously. It's funny, they're brother and sisters, and they're the, fir- they're the same that two that in Netflix. Luke Cage? Yeah, yeah, Mike Coulter, here we go. <laughs> do you... I don't know, do you... Obviously, they're going to go with whoever they think is best for the job. It's not necessarily like... Yeah. Because they worked with them or something, but I don't know. Do you think we'll see any of those people like come back? Do you think we'll see? I mean, we obviously won't get those characters again because of contracts. But yeah. do you think they will go with any of those people? Do you think they'll hold them back in case one day they can do him like a Daredevil with uh, Charlie Cox again? I'll say you won't see Finn Jones as uh, Iron Fist. Yeah, I'm gonna say based on our uh, casting for Shang Chi, that's probably not gonna be. The yeah, case. I think there's a chance you wouldn't see Mike Coulter back as Luke Cage because I feel like that's just a prime role for The Rock mm-hmm. one day to step in there or somebody. I honest, I honestly think this is their way of saying that Charlie Cox maybe could someday be in the I, MCU. I but think he it's won't as simple ma- as like they just don't care. Right? Yeah, I think I think he could be in the MCU one day, but I don't think he'll be playing Daredevil. Maybe maybe they'll say hey, but I think that's their way of saying if there is a Daredevil in the MCU, he's not going to be Charlie Cox. It's going to be yeah. someone new. Ben so, Affleck, Ben Affleck again, you know, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like like J.K. Right, Fuck. you know. Um, but yeah, I I think this is their way of saying yeah. Though that's tech. That's a different universe and we don't yeah. care about that but they've kind of done that a couple times it's still the same legacy but there's a character in captain america one that they or there's an actor they use and he's playing the principal in far from home yeah but they just say he's like his great 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 grandson so right i think it is at the end of the day realistically just, for smaller characters like that i mean cotton Mahoe's isn't a small character by any means but mm-hmm. he's just been it was so long ago yeah. now or it feels like it so i, I think you, it's fine i think it's just like what you said i think it, i think i don't care what the situation is i think you hit it perfectly i think Feige just cares who's best yeah. for the role. and i yeah. think that's the way of, let's say if charlie cox one day for some reason like he'd be the perfect doctor doom which i don't think but i'm just right. throwing someone out we want charlie cox so i think this is what came down yeah. to it and i he, mean now that they're, now that they're auctioning off i saw that auction off so all the sad. daredevil you know all the defender stuff like those shows are clearly Obviously, like completely They're done. and utterly done now yeah. so i don't know i think it's you know it's, it's already been, i've already moved on personally yeah. so yeah, but even then it does help because i guarantee you he did talk to tv people and i don't i've never got the impression ali's like a crappy guy but he's done comic books and it's just like oh yeah he's maybe he's a bigger fan and who knows maybe on that set there's people and producers that like he was like man i'd love to see a blade movie i would love to play that character yeah. and if any if they're i don't I don't I just don't know I want to know I don't think Feige did this but I just wonder if it was just, no I guess they did the blade first I was trying to think did they get Ali and be like what could we do with them or did they do blade and we want Ali because I just it could have been something like hey we'll do blade if we get him right true and that's the thing because I think he's a big name and I I guess I'm just so befuddled because I did not think blade function into any movie plans at all yeah so i'm just i, I wonder because you, you see like a character like captain marvel like obviously the casting kind of similar as this but at the same time like they needed a captain marvel no yeah. matter what so if she couldn't do it like their plans already included her and yeah it makes me curious like how much blade will be an integral character in like in a, a future avengers movie because i can't really picture that i could see him obviously teaming up in other movies being yeah. relevant elsewhere but he's but just I a massive d- actor though right like he's a big yeah name, that, that's like, true as well i guess i just see like we've lost some stars. at least with my what i know about blade yeah. the character it's like why would 
why would he be part of that? Like, yes, mm-hmm. he'd care if the world is going to get snapped or something, but yeah. he, I think I picture him as like going out fucking up some vampires, right? And not yeah. really caring about the fucking Civil War storyline, right? <laughs> like, I I picture him being in the line up there at the airport seat. Like, I just can't. <laughs> just with his blades. I mean, I'd, it, I'd take it, sure. And his plasma grenades and everything. <laughs> yeah, but I think, again, you said the point of when Guardians first came out, they were like D-list people in the comic books and they yep. put them up to be like, oh, they oh, should yeah, be in those movies, right? And that's the thing, like... Marvel sometimes there's weird decisions things we don't like, but overall like their quality is just their bar is so high, right? Yeah. Like their bottom line. So I just have so much faith in them right now until they prove me wrong and then prove me wrong again and then prove me wrong once more, then like I whatever, do whatever you guys want and I'll yeah. go I'll go see the movie.